Okay, so this video we're going to have a detailed look at all the components contained in the Kanban EV box that was came off the recent Kickstarter by Eagle Griffin Games, recent being about two years ago. First up, regular rule book, 24 pages long. And another book for the solo rules and the references, and that is eight pages long. A little flyer giving us the highlights of the Eagle Griffin's 2018 to 2019 catalogue. Here we have the little bit for the upgrade pack. We have our main board in six fold. We have the four screen printed player boards, one for each colour. We have 42 cars. So we have eight of the SUVs, eight of the trucks, eight of the city cars, eight of the sports cars, eight of the concept cars, as well as the wooden pace car and the metal pace car. And then there's four player colors. Each gets their own worker meeple, certification marker, their own bank shift marker, five of their own colored speech tokens, six discs in their color, a bank shift reminder token, a double-sided double upgrade tile, five of the basic garage tiles, one of which is locked, all double-sided, and five of the expert garage tiles, again one of them is locked, and again double-sided. We also have 20 of these wooden lock tokens divided between the players as well. In the small library down here, we have 16 of these book tokens as well. We have a test track overlay, which is double-sided for different player counts. We've got four of these player aid sheets and they are double-sided. And then we have 11 different end game scoring tiles to choose from. We have the five demand tiles and there's one for each car color. We have 12 factory gold tiles in three sets of four. Four of them could be over by the test track. We've got another four that could be over by the car upgrades. And then four of these that we're gonna put down for the certification track. We're gonna have 35 of these design tiles, seven for each car type, and they're all double-sided. We've got 20 of these award tiles. Five take a book, five gain a bank shift, five gain an instant two production points, and then five take a parts voucher. And with that, we have our 11 parts voucher tokens. We've got our 23 generic speech tokens. Here we've got Sandra, the production cycle marker, the week marker, and the meeting marker. We've got our double-sided Sandra tile for when she's naughty and when she's nice. Six of these car park value markers, all double-sided. We're going to have 60 coloured car parts, 10 batteries, 10 electronics, 10 motor, 10 drivetrain, 10 autopilot, and finally 10 body. We have 32 performance goal cards, which lucky enough are all numbered in the corner so you can identify them. 2 PP every car in the garage, 3 PP for every different car type in the garage, 4 PP for every truck, city car, concept, sports, and SUV in your garage. 4PP for every upgraded design for batteries, electronics, body, autopilot, drivetrain, motor. 2PP for every upgraded design. 4PP for every tested design. 2PP for every battery or electronics, body or autopilot, motor or drive shaft. 4PP for every car in garage 1 or 2, 2 or 3, 4 or 5. 4PP if you're certified in research and development, assembly, logistics, design, administration. 2pp for each design on the player board, 2pp for every book you have, 3pp for every department you're certified, 2pp for every parts voucher you have, 2pp for every bank shift you've got, and 3pp for every speech token you've still got on your player board. And the last main base game items are the 12 Kanban order cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The components used in the solo game, firstly we've got Mr. Turksy and Mr. Lasada. They each have five discs, a certificate motion marker and a worker meeple. We have here the solo player aid, which is double-sided. There's 11 of these plan cards. Number one, 
number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, and number eleven, the reshuffle. There's 18 of these selection cards, and they all just show you a part to be used, and there's three of each, and the bottom half shows you a plan card to be chosen, which overall there's a 50-50 split equally between the two. And then there's nine of these difficulty cards. One is Certified Lasada, two Cushy Speech, three Certified Advantage, four Productive Upgrades, five Optimized Upgrades, six Increased Quotas, seven Forced Overtime, eight Keeping Up With The Colleagues, and nine The Immediate Termination Clause. And then finally coming around to the stuff from the Upgrade Pack, we have the seven tiles for the special Garage Tile Expansion, and they're all double sided. And then for the Speed Charger Expansion, we've got four of the Charging Boards, Six extra performance goals. S1 is 2pp for every charger token you have. And then the rest are 4pp for having a charger token in 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And it also comes with 14 of the aforementioned charger tokens. And I can't forget the four endgame bonus tiles. S1 to S4. And then finally it's also come with a bag of spare parts just in case you lose any pieces which is quite nice. So we've got one of each car. One of each car part, and then a book, a charger, a lock, and a car parts token. And there's everything in the box. Hopefully that's useful if you think you're missing any parts, although as you've seen it did come with spares, and most of the cards are luckily listed in the rule book if you happen to be missing one or two. And they're all numbered, which is very helpful. Hope you enjoyed that anyway. There'll be a link up there if you want to keep watching videos about the Kanban, or there'll be a link up there if you want to just keep following videos in the series. So thanks for watching and hope to catch you soon.